the youth program actually has got quite a number of programs that have been established for some time now. What we did was actually to strengthen and enhance the program further. And this was based on feedback from our partners in the community. So we went out on the ground a lot, you know, we talked to people, we talked to the stakeholders themselves. They gave us good responses and uh, how can we fine-tune these programs. For us, um, this takes things at two levels. One, you have um, the proactive programs uh, where we try to develop youth potential you know, through mentorship, through empowerment programs. Whereas um, some other programs, on the other hand, um, are more uh, preemptive. So, in the sense that you know, we talk about youth in action, uh, we handle youth at risk, uh, where we try to uh, you know, bring youth who are out of school or those who are on the brink of potentially um, getting out of school to help them stay in the education system. The approach has been the many helping hands approach and uh, me for one, I'm uh, a person who's more collaborative. So we've actually got many partners in the community and uh, Malay Muslim organisations as well as others and I think this is important because we cannot always be doing all the things by ourselves so the partners are important and I think it's uh, got good results. Of course we can enhance it a lot more and get more partners as we continue to enlarge the family of support that we have. AMP works uh, with CLF eh, for the Youth in Action program. Besides that, we also uh, work with CLF on the new drop-in centre. We have uh, one centre in Pasiris where youth uh, can drop in uh, and seek counselling. I'm very hopeful, you know, that uh, being partners of CLF, we are able to do more uh, for the youth and for the community uh, better than if we are on our own. help people with uh, social mobility, improving their lives, keeping them in schools, uh, making housewives see things from a different perspective and opening up their mindsets. All these are you know, good enough for me. And it's even more meaningful when it comes from a young person as these are the lives that we want to change for the better and the mindsets that we want to kind of uh, bridge into the future. One area I see, um, and that's very heartening for me, um, being co-chairman is, uh, is uh, the amount of uh, young Malay Muslim uh, youth who are uh, graduates of Polytechnic diploma holders who have uh, stepped forward to say, you know what, we've, uh, we're doing well today in our lives and we want to help others in the community. So um, they have been mentoring, they have been volunteering and uh, it is very heartening for, to see um, our own youth trying to help uh, those who are less fortunate in the community. The FPE will value at the CLF in two ways. First, it will bring in new ideas. Secondly, it will bring young people into the process. This synergy between the young and the experienced will, I think, bring about greater effectiveness in the kinds of solutions that we will develop for the challenges facing the community in the years to come. I think what we're hoping to do would be to add value to the ideas that will come up from the ground. And certainly, as secretary to the CLF Labs, we will be supporting with um, uh, in terms of, of fruition of the ideas, uh, even expanding those ideas, um, and, and that's what the Secretary is looking forward to. Interconnect. 
interactivity, the interaction between existing CLF projects and new projects created through the CLF Lab is in modern process. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for us to cross-fertilize ideas on both sides. And if that can happen, then we have a unity in terms of how we see the challenges going forward. Now it's up to our young people to show what they're made of. But I'm confident, given the success that we have so far for the last one year, that there will be a lot of suggestions and ideas from our young people who are prepared to do their part for our community. The last five years has been very encouraging. We have seen a lot more young people coming forward, whether they are professionals, uh, young students, you know, even new stars also coming forward to help us in the various programs. And I hope that this means uh, our programs will be more enriching and a lot more relevant to youth of today and tomorrow. In the course of my interaction with the many youths out there, what I want to share with them is that every single one of them can be empowered and they can do these small little things in their own small way but yet contribute to society and when you put all these small little acts together they can indeed make a big impact. So we are really working our young people to think out of the box but you don't think without a context. The context is the CLM, the context is the community, the challenges that we face. But is there another way of doing things? Is there a way in which you can enrich the process that we've had, bearing in mind the challenges of the future? So, I'm quite optimistic of the future of the CLF. It is a structure that we have created, we have brought the entire community on board, and I think this process can only grow.